Hello and welcome to West Cornwall Golf Club. We're on the glorious 12th hole here um, and we're going to look at a very simple little tip. Again, one that often people ask me about and that concerns driving and more importantly when you're in a big wide open space like this off the 12th tee, what to concentrate on. So here's a scenario. We're on the 12th and great hole, quite an easy par five if the wind's in the right direction. But the problem we have is it's too wide, it's too open. And the most common mistake is I see people standing up here and almost being put off by the views, being put off maybe by the people coming up the 16th uh, and people coming up the other fairways. But how about this? Instead of just having the ball down on the ground like so, a tip that a lot of golf pros give when they're on the putting green, why don't we use the name on the ball to line up on the tee? I know it's simple, but again, often simple things make a big difference and it will help you visualize and concentrate on what that club head's doing at contact rather than maybe getting distracted by the openness and the vast space we have in front of us. So let's have a look at the difference. The big difference here is when that club head goes down, not only have I established the target line, but I can actually get that club face at right angles to that target line easier with the logo I've put on the ball. So the first tip, as we said, was maybe use the line on the ball, the name on the ball, the logo on the ball. And I know everyone's going to say, well, this isn't practical. You can't put down anything on the ground. Um, but again, it's a visual thing. When you watch golf pros that stand behind the ball, lift the club up, try and find some intermediate points to aim at, what they're actually trying to do is imagine this line, that target line that then, as we've talked about in previous videos, helps you be aware of which way is the club moving as we hit the ball. So yes, a little bit impractical and definitely don't do this in your next monthly medal, but as a practice mechanism, as a practice idea and a concept, a great visual one to have a go at. Let's have a try, see what happens. Okay, not a bad result. And we'll just look at continuing this theory when we're on the putting green in a minute. Here we are on the green. Uh, we're gonna apply the same principle once again. So I've already marked the ball. I've used the grid on the ball to line up. I've checked the ball and the line from behind the hole. And it's exactly the same as that driver. I'm gonna try and square the club face up, concentrate on the path and get the right speed. Let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so just to conclude up those points, whether you're using the name on the golf ball or something as elaborate as a little cross on the ball, um, it's up to you entirely how you do it, but whatever we apply on a putting green, try and apply the same principles when we're driving off. If you need any more advice, you can follow the links below to my website, and I'd be more than happy to discuss the different options open to you to get you improving your golf straight away. Thank you.